Hello, and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at how can you integrate Amazon Pay on your e-commerce store. And also how a customer can check out using Amazon Pay. There are many payment gateways through which a customer can process their payment on an e-commerce store. Amazon Pay as we know is a payment gateway offered by Amazon for making checking out processes easy. With the help of Amazon, a customer simply needs to log in with their Amazon account and their address and payment information are filled. This saves the hassle for the customer to add address and payment information while checking out, even as a guest. Let us see how you can integrate Amazon Pay in your store. To integrate Amazon Pay you need to first register with Amazon as a merchant. Once you have registered as a merchant, you need to follow these steps. First, you need to register a new Amazon Pay application to obtain the necessary client ID. Here's how you can do it. Go to Seller Central, and then select Integration, then, Integration Central from the navigation bar on the top left side. Under the Manage Client ID slash Store ID section, click on Create New Client ID slash Store ID, and enter information about your application. Now under Under Web Settings, you need to specify the values for authorizing interactions between your website and Amazon. This is done because web browsers normally block cross-origin communication between scripts unless the script specifically allows it. Enter the allowed JavaScript origins. The origin is the combination of protocol, domain name, and port and m dash. Enter allowed return URLs. The return URL includes the protocol, domain, path, and query strings, and m dash. Once configured, click save changes. Now, there are two ways in which you can integrate Amazon Pay in your store. These are 1. Custom integration. 2. Using Amazon's button generator. For custom integration, you need to save the client slash store ID that was generated when registering for Amazon Pay. The next step is to get the merchant ID to get your merchant ID go to Seller Central. And choose Amazon Pay. Then go to Settings and click on Integration Settings. Here you can see the merchant ID. This ID is used as a seller ID parameter in the request. Once done, you now need to get the MWS access key ID and secret access key which will be used as a signature for signing your request. To get these, go back to Seller Central and choose Amazon Pay from the drop-down menu. And click Integration, then click MWS access key. Note down the keys, which will be used for custom integration of Amazon Pay. These keys are required for integrations that don't use the button generator. This is one way in which you can set up Amazon Pay in your store. Now let's take a look at the button generator offered by Amazon. The button generator integration for Amazon Pay and Login with Amazon offers a simple copy and paste HTML code that you can use to add a full featured Amazon Pay button to your website. This button generator allows you to set up the button in three ways. One for sandbox testing which can be used for testing the integration for the button on your store. Second, the button for the production view, that is the functional button to be used by customers. Third button for logging into Amazon account to process the payment. To set up these buttons, you need to go Seller Center and select the type of button from the drop-down menu. Then go to the Express Integration button generator by clicking Integration and then Integration Central. The button generator is located in the Express Integration button generator section. Click Create, enter the applicable values, and then generate the HTML. Each button type will have its own HTML code. This how you can set up the Amazon Pay for your e-commerce store. Now let's see how a customer can use Amazon Pay for making payments on your store. Once you have added the products to the cart and ready to check out. You'll have the option to make an express checkout using Amazon Pay, or, use other forms of payment. Click on Amazon Pay, and you will be redirected to Amazon's login page. If you have already logged in, it'll redirect you to the shipping address screen. Here you have the saved address selected by default, or, you can add a new address if you need it, by clicking on Change. To continue, click on Continue to Shipping option. Select your desired option and click continue to the payment option. Here in the payment method field, you have your default card selected and with a list of other cards that are associated with your Amazon account. Select the card through which you want to make the payment. Remember the selected card is tied up with the default address that you assigned while setting up Amazon Pay. 
Make sure the address with which the card is associated matches your shipping address, if you want billing and shipping address to be the same. If in case you need to add a new card, you can add by click on change, and then add a new option. Add the details and click on add your card. With this done, you are all set to make payment. Verify the information on the screen and then click place order. The order would be successfully placed with the store once the payment process is complete. And the same amount will be deducted from your account as well. This concludes the video on how can you integrate Amazon Pay and how a user can use Amazon Pay to make payments. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you have any queries about building an e-commerce store, visit our website w3villa.com or send an email at contact at the rate w3villa.com.